six months later, we're on the homicide desk. The red lipstick murder. Jesus. All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Flight Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman, found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Oh, I love Rusty. Do you have the address? It's been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. The heck? Cop in the newspapers. Jeez, Phelps, you're not even going to say hi to your new partner? What happened to Rose? Parker wants the chief job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Green. So they're both clearing the decks. So where does that leave you, Galloway? Leaves me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? The Dahlia. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the Black Dahlia. We any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No. I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, Phelps. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. This will be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, that's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time, it is. <sighs> yeah, Rusty doesn't like me at first, but he grows to. Crime scene is just up the dirt road, detective. Scoop for the examiner, Galloway. You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. You're used to it, Phelps. Moving along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. <laughs> Oof. Oh, yeah. 
There's a lot of titties in this. And I don't know how to edit out titties. Well. We'll have to figure something out Control, then, I Mr. guess. B? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Cause of death? It could be the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. The cuts look superficial. I'll, I'll know for sure in an hour. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed, a ring most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. <laughs> BD. Hmm. Interesting. What's the writing on the victim mean? BD. Like Dahlia? Tex? Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Hmm. Hmm. This doesn't pertain to the case. Are you sure? Not much help. Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Bomba Club. Why steal a table lighter? It's a real neat lighter. <clears throat> the victim's bag? Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Hmm. Can we get to the bomba? Man could die of thirst in a case like this. Find anything interesting? 